Okay, and finally, before we tear into inserting things on our site, we need to know how to publish it. I know that sounds backwards, but for our course, we will want you to share the link to your site so we can follow along with the things that you do and help you if you have questions. So we need it as quickly as we can get it. And this is about the first step that makes sense to publish. Every change you make on a page is just like a doc or a slide file. It saves, but it's only saving it for you. So publishing simply means that you are publishing it, right? You're saving it to your audience too. So we're auto saving everything we were to type in here, insert, but we need to publish in order to share it beyond ourselves. So there's a few steps that only happen the first time you publish. So as you might imagine, you're going to come to the top right and click publish. And this is where we're going to name our site again. Okay. Now this is super important. Um, this is the actual web address. So you see that it's going to try to make me test site because that's what I typed in as the title at the top left of my site. Um, but this is the web address that everyone's going to use to find your site. So your audience needs to understand it as well. So for example, if I put Mr. Wood's classroom, maybe that's really long. If I just put Wood, since that's my last name, maybe that makes more sense. But as you probably are also aware, you can only use web addresses once. So if anyone's ever used that, it won't be available. So I'm going to name this one um, online course site. I would normally recommend something really short, but I want to make sure that it would be unique. So I get this little check mark um, beside it showing that it's available. The second part that's perhaps more important than that one is I need to make sure people can see the site. So since it is like a Google Doc, everyone needs to have access to it in order to see it. And that's more important with sites because the purpose of making a website is for other people to view it, right? So you're going to notice that there's a manage button here. It's sort of like sharing your site. But site is very different and that there's two ways that you have to share it. We're going to focus on the second one, but I want to mention the first one really quickly. You'll notice that we're in draft mode here. It's talking about the draft being shared as opposed to the published version. So if you share here, then you are sharing for people, usually for people to be able to edit it with you. So if you have like a team teacher or you're doing one as a grade level or you're doing one as a project with a bunch of people, then you would share. This is like ordinary doc sharing. The publish part is the one that's most important because we're talking about sites. So I'm going to click change. And right now it's set so that only anyone at Gaston County Schools can find and view the published version. So that means your students will be fine if they're logged in on Chromebooks. Um, but you probably, since you're putting it on a website, would want more people to see it. So you can click the first one. This says anyone can find and view the published version. So they don't have to be logged in. This is also very helpful, uh, helpful for students working at home who just need to access the site and look at it. They don't have to be logged into their school Google account. So I'm going to click Save. And you'll notice that now it says publish anyone can find and view. This is to invite people to um, see it uh, directly, just like uh, a Google document. I'm going to click done. I'm now going to click publish finally. This is the actual publishing button. So it'll take just a second to publish because my site is really tiny and we are done. Now, if you want to see what your site's going to look like to the public or to your audience, Outside of this editing view, it's really simple. You can do it a couple of ways. You can click the preview icon right here, and it will show you. The only real difference is it's showing you full width, but it will show you what it looks like on a tablet or a phone, which is kind of neat. That's a fairly new feature. I can exit here. You can also click this link. And it will take you back to your published link whenever you need it. You can copy this. And this is the one that you would want to send out to whoever you want to find your site. Um, once that link is um, copied, um, you can you know, paste it in an email or anywhere else. That is the link um, we'd like for you to paste into our um, assignment at the end of this module. Um, or you can choose to shorten it, which will be our next step. Um, it's kind of an optional step that you could do to make that site uh, URL shrink a bit, um, like we typically use bit.ly's or tiny URLs in PD. But that's it for now.